it's, it's difficult, it's, it's very difficult. When I first started fighting, I was working full time and I was in, you know, and I continued working full time for the first two years of, of, of my career. You know, so I had eight fights and I was working full time as a family support worker, really getting in depth into people's lives, had a, had a high caseload, um, challenging, uh, fa challenging behavior, dysfunctional families, X, Y, and Z, the, the list goes on. At the same time, I was studying full time. So that was my money, that was my education. But then I still had to have time for the fighting, which became difficult. And it became very difficult because I had to up the level of training, you know, uh, to, to match my competition. So, it, you know, I had to juggle, juggle things together. Um, I was fortunate. Well, I, I, I look at it as an opportunity. I was fortunate enough to be made redundant, which you know meant that I lost my job. Uh, well, I took redundancy. I took redundancy. Uh, you know, so um, gave gave that up. Looked for something else. But in the interim, I was able to train full time, and, and not only train full time, but increase the quality of my training. You know, I, ha I had a bit, I had some funds to train at different places travel a little bit as well but really to invest into my my fighting and that's what and that's what I did you know I still I still do youth work I work in a youth center now and that's mainly to keep my face-to-face -face time up I don't want to stop working with, with the, the, the next generation because I, I, I find it's a very rewarding job I do that as well as uh, my stuff in the bag as well as teaching uh, I, I teach uh, kids as well as adults I teach them kickboxing and I teach them jiu-jitsu as well. We need more exposure at the top end, you know, get, get them on TV, uh, like terrestrial TV, or uh, get, get in those big paper pay-per-views, sell out those arenas and stuff. That will bring more money into the sport for sp uh, sponsor sponsorship opportunities, uh, advertising, whatnot. That will break us through, you know, crossover uh, partnerships, break us through into other mainstream um, sports and, and, what, and whatnot. Get, get the sport known in, in other, other areas. Second thing, you know, we as mixed martial artists need to conduct ourselves in, in, in the right way. We are professional athletes first and foremost, yeah? And the third thing that we need to do is train up our athlete from young, like in America, like in the Middle um, uh, Eastern Europe. They've got wrestling institutionalized into their curriculum, you know? We need to start teaching our young, not so much making it mandatory, but we need to put more time and more effort into teaching these martial arts, because not only is it a sport, it's also a self-defense system, as well as a martial art, you know, um, we need to teach it from young, and that's partly what I'm doing with, with In The Bag. I'm making the sport accessible for all. I, I get funding, and, I be, and I'm able to provide uh, and deliver sessions. You know, I, 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 I train myself. I also get my other my other colleagues who are professional fighters as well. Young people can train for free. There's no excuses that, that way. You know, and it should be available for all. But if they can start now, you know, thank goodness I'll be retired by the time that they start uh, making waves in the scene. You know, because uh, there'll be a problem. You know what I mean?